I'm essentially weaving them so that everything stays where it's supposed to. We also play a, around a lot with this idea of weaving. Mm -hmm. So a lot of our pieces are woven in one way or another. So there is the, how it was on the display. Very beautiful. And there's a mirror um, on the door. And as the door closes, the mirror appears. <laughs> and then I can show you a few other ways it can be worn as well. Oh, so you, this can be worn in a different way. May, okay. may I show you? Sure. Okay. So I'm just going to unravel it now. I can show you a few different ways. I'm going to show you a few more, uh, a few ways that are a little more asymmetrical. So now what I'm doing is I'm turning the pendant in the other direction, and I'm going to start weaving through the small loop first. So it's essentially the same process, I'm sorry, but just going through the small loop first in instead of the large one. Actually, at the end, I always like to go strand at a time so that that doesn't get too hot. It's interesting to see the different ways you're doing mm -hmm. Yeah. I like how you can wear them different ways. It, it has a yeah. completely different look. Yeah, see this, this is one of my favorite ways because I'm a big fan of asymmetry. So um, what I like to show about wearing it this way is you can then bring it off to the side and wear it like this. So it's almost like a like a sash, or then by bringing it more central, you have the pendant traveling 